5405 Montebello Avenue. It's street parking, no driveway. There is a dip in the curb. They wanted to put a driveway in right there. No visible damage on the roof. Quiet, low traffic street. Houses are well kept. I don't hear any major highways around. Walkways are in pretty good shape. Side yard, it's a little bit bigger than our backyard, I think. Siding and the windows look good, or are in good shape. Shed needs to be cleaned up a little, but it looks like it's sturdy. There's, um, I can't see any damage on that part of the roof. There's a flat part that I can't see. Um, this is a big tree, pretty close to our house. I don't know if any roots can mess with the structure, but it looks like it could be possible. It doesn't look like it's affecting the house now, but it might. This back deck definitely needs a little work. Around this side, I see the foundation, and it looks good. I don't see any cracks, but kind of see the tree a little better on this side. It kind of comes down and hugs tight against the house. Through the front door. Oh. Newer windows. All drywall. There's some damaged spots, and a lot of the walls are textured and ceilings. So, living area, dining. And they got it kind of chopped up. It looks like at some point they got a really skinny long kitchen here. And then another one of the bathrooms is really skinny and long. Cabinets are beat up. Looks like it needs new everything. And then this back section, the ceiling drops a little bit where the flat part of the roof is in the back of the house. And this is just kind of either more kitchen or a little breakfast area. Need a new slider. <clears throat> Over here. 
bedroom, good size bedroom. Again, it looks like drywall, but it's textured drywall. <coughs> the ceiling's not textured, it's smooth. Decent sized closet. Another bedroom. Drywall in here is pretty good. And an extension to this bedroom. <coughs> Which the only spot in the whole house that I or I noticed the soft spot in the floor right here. You can't see it from the basement. Because the basement ends right here. So, there's no really other <coughs> issues with the floor. It's pretty level. And then this is the only full bath, which is missing a toilet and sink. A lot of the tiles cracked and they got it set up pretty weird. Yeah, stand up shower here and then a bathtub like it's behind it. All this tile is not it doesn't look professionally done. Tubs broken. See styrofoam underneath. And all the plumbing stripped. Basement. The ceilings are, I think, to the joist at 610. So definitely finishable. A good amount of space to finish. <clears throat> the joists look pretty good. I don't see any mold or very little if any. I don't see any termite damage and they're pretty dry. Back here, it's utilities. They got hot water heater. Looks really old and all the copper stripped. Looks like maybe a toilet was plumbed in at some point. <coughs> 100 amp panel. All the wires are snipped, or the majority of them, anyways. I didn't notice this in the, on the upstairs, but there's definitely some rotten rotting going on here. Pretty bad looking, but it's really the, it's the only place down here that I see any issues, and I believe that's underneath of the bathroom, so it could be just plumbing issues. Doesn't look like termites or might be some termite damage and some water damage. And ductwork's a little rusty. And the furnace. Don't see a sump pump down here anywhere. So that's it for down here and upstairs.
upstairs. Split into two bedrooms. Most of the drywall is good. There's a little bit of mold up here. And then some damaged spots. Two decent sized rooms. Both of them have built in closets. The ceiling heights are written down. Um, it's a close call on whether you could maybe open this up and turn it into a master. It feels pretty spacious, but the ceilings might be a little bit too low.